Here is my February 2022 income report. As always, I go over in depth the income that I brought in as well as the expenses because it's so important to look at both sides of the income and expenses of a business. And I am all about transparency and just being super transparent with y'all. I do have a blog post down below in the description box, which goes into more detail of each of the income streams, but I'm going to go over briefly as well as the expenses as well. All right, jumping right in affiliate marketing, I made $1,315 and 16 cents. Etsy was 97.44. Freedom in the budget shop was 91.66. Etsy and freedom in the budget shop. These are the same exact products on both of them. I just have them hosted in two different areas because they bring in different traffic. When I'm talking about my shop and my printables, my spreadsheets, all of that, I always link my Freedom in a Budget shop from my videos on my main channel, Kellyanne Smith, and then Etsy gets its own traffic from Pinterest and different things like that. And so they are pretty much pretty equal, which is surprising, especially since I drive most of my traffic right from YouTube to my shop, but Etsy is right up there, so I will take it. Next is YouTube and blog. These are the ads that run on my videos and also on my blog. This is just on the main channel because this channel here is not monetized yet. And as you can see here, here are my numbers for where we are in monetization. It's a struggle, but we are getting there to monetization. So I do have this printable down below in the description box if you wanna grab it as well. And this is just to track if you are on your way to monetization. Um, then for your channel, then this is a great way to keep track of it and keep yourself motivated. Next is Instagram. Instagram pays me for reels and I made $116.50 after they took out their fees. Next is courses. I have two courses. I have a course on how I've grown my business to making what I make now and how you can do it a lot faster than I did and also a course on how to save money on groceries. So between the two courses, I made $457.31. Patreon made $31.95 for a total income of $3,280.18. Expenses. All right, education. I um, have a monthly membership with Nicole Walters for $97. Then I bought a course on um, sponsorships for $397 for a total of education development of $494. Expenses of labor, $0, supply, $0, and travel, $0, and, and um, advertising and marketing, $0 as well. Next is dues and subscriptions. This was a very heavy month for dues and subscriptions. I did have some yearly ones that came out, so that is what bumped up the price. So we had Flowdesk, which I pay yearly. That was $209. If you do want to set them for Flowdesk, I have a 50% off for you, which is 50% off for a lifetime, which is amazing. I love Flowdesk for my email marketing. I used to have MailChimp, and I like it 10 times better, 10 times better. Next is Canva Pro, 100% worth it, $119.40. Um, next big one that came out was Church Motion, and that was $199. So total was $953.54. I do have some other things like YouTube Premium, Adobe Creative Cloud, Cloud Fair, G Suite, Sprint, this is our first cell phone, Internet, Digital Ocean, Apple, all of these come out every single month. Next is expenses and food was zero dollars. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty numbers. So total of all expenses was one thousand four hundred forty seven dollars and fifty four cents. That was forty four percent of my income. So it was very high this month. But like I said, I did have some annual subscriptions come out and I did buy a course as well. Total revenue was three thousand two hundred eighty dollars and eighteen cents. Profit, 5%. I put this in a account for a monthly or for a bonus every quarter was $164.01, which is 5% of my um, pay for the month. Next is owner's pay, which is 65% every single month, always that flat 65%. That is what I check, transferred to my personal checking account, and that is the salary that I take from my business is 65% and that goes to feed my family. So my daughter, my husband, and myself, and that is um, what I take for my business to my personal account. So that was $2,132.12.
Next is operating expenses 30%. So 30% would be $948.05. And then operating expenses 30% minus what I spent. So typically I have money left over. This month I went over, which is totally fine because you'll see in a minute I have money in there in the account. So let's skip over hours work for a second. So um, actual this month was $164 for profit, as you can see here, the profit. Um, and then the operating expenses was negative $463. But as you can see, last month's total, we had 983. So we are still in the green for $519 of operating expenses and for profit 5% is $419. So that is the bonus that I'll give myself this month for a total of $939.62. So this operating expense is a minus 30%. This is for something comes up. If I go over, we have a little bit of a buffer in there. If I have to pay for a conference or I need to hire someone for something, then that'll have that. It's just a little safety net savings account that we have for the business. All right, hours worked. So total hours that I worked this month, it was a low month because getting ready, I was getting ready to have a baby. I've since had a baby. I had a baby on March 1st. So that's why this video is a little bit delayed, but um, total I worked 26.25 hours, which gives me an hourly rate of $124.96. So that is awesome ratio there. So that is the income and expenses for February, 2022. Like I said, I do have a blog post down below in the description box for you for a little bit more detail of everything. And I also have tons of other tutorials, other income reports for previous months and tons of other information for you guys. So definitely check out the description, check out the playlist linked here at the video. Hey.